Here is a copper penny. Copper penny about 84. Here's a quarter. Quarter at 90. Dime. Dime at 84, same place as the copper penny. Zinc penny. 78 on the zinc. A nickel. 57. 57 so far. Okay, 57 on the nickel. So, now we'll go dig some signals and see what, uh, you know, see what we can get. See how this thing does, what kind of depth it gets. Here's a signal. It doesn't fall into any of the coin ranges. It's probably more like a pull tab zone. 60, 61. See what we got here. All right. So it's not six inches, like the detector said, but that's all right. They're not, they're hardly, they're hardly ever accurate anyway, real accurate. That was a, well you've seen 60, 61, a pull tab right there. Here's one that's jumping around a little bit. Jumping from uh, VCO tone to high tone. Every once in a while you see a little iron blip in there. You don't see it. There you go. Right there. Maybe there's something close. Dig this one out. It's kind of a jumpy ID here. Both trying to hit in the high tone zone. Well, these roots are kind of tough. It rained a lot last night, so it's almost muddy. One of the, not really, oops. Not really square tab, but, you know, tab anyway. Got a 7980 here. That might be screw cap range. A little high for a zinc, a little low for a copper penny. So that could be in the screw cap zone. And that's what it was. It, I mean, it hit pretty repeatable. So it was a screw cap. This could possibly be something deeper too. About six inches. I think it's right there. I don't know what that is. It's not. Uh, it's just a chunk of metal. I don't. I don't believe it's steel. It might be lead. See, there's a. There's a hole in it right there. Maybe someone was like they had a casting contest or something out here, but it, it, it feels like lead. That's probably why it hit in that zone. That wasn't too bad. Maybe six, seven inches deep. Hit, you know, it hit pretty good. Well, it's in the 77 to 79 zone. Seems pretty shallow. No 
Oh, the detector pinpoints good. I mean, it's, you know, usually you center it. I mean, so far I've only dug maybe five or six targets, but usually it's right in the plug. There you go. A key. Well, too bad that was maybe four or five inches deep. It's a key. Here's a weird one. Have a hard time locating it. I think it's a uh, might be iron falsing. See, I'm getting some ID numbers, but watch the iron up in here. So it's saying iron, but it's trying to hit with uh, you know, numbers also. Let's dig it out anyway, see what it is. It's saying iron. Kind of how maybe a rusty bottle cap or something might hit, or, or I mean, there could possibly be a good target mixed with iron, you know, either way. But the iron thing was flashing, so we'll see. We'll see if there's any iron in the hole, but when I pinpointed, I pinpointed two or three different places. There's so much trash in here. I mean, it hit in two or three different places, so I think there's more than one target in the area anyway. I think I see rust in the hole, so we'll start with what we got in the hole. I know there's some iron in there. Okay. There's a big rusty bolt or something. Big rusty piece. Let's see if we can find anything else non-iron though. A little hit was off a piece of the rust, rusty flake. I'm really not expecting there to be any, you know, non-iron target in here. Actually, I believe that I believe that's what it was. It was just falsing, but the iron icon, you know, let me know there was iron there. Getting the 7980, um, probably in the screw cap range. Don't doesn't seem to be real deep. Probably something shallow. Yeah, this 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 sounded with a you know a real strong tone, so I don't, I don't expect it to be real deep. So it's almost in the screw cap range. There it is, Coca Cola. Right beside that screw cap I just dug, probably three inches away. I'm getting another signal. I opened it wide open now. Um, did you hear a little iron? You can see the iron, and then you hear a little iron grunt every once in a while. With those signals, you just don't know. You don't know if it's iron false or if it's a coin mixed with iron. This is almost acting like a rusty bottle cap. See what we got here. I am expecting a rusty something rusty down there anyway. Or iron. I don't know. It's about rusty, but I'm sure it's rusty. It's down in the ground. Okay, it's there's some uh there's some glass and um Looks like the top, it, it is some kind of, um, it's a broken glass with a with this piece of a screw cap on there, and then this here. Let's see what else, what else we got. Might be it, and it might be, maybe why it's jumping around like that. Probably all she wrote. That's all right, that was probably it. Here's another one in the screw cap range. A lot of junk out here, so, I mean, and these things ring up right in the coin range. But it's jumping around a little bit. I'm not, it could be a deeper coin. Before it was hitting like in the lower 80s, but we'll see what we got. 
I don't think it was, I don't think it was real deep. I mean that that shouldn't have hit in the coin range, surely. There's the rest of it. We'll see if anything else is down there. A lot of times, there's two or three of them are in the hole that brings the ID up a little bit. This was very deep. So we just cut kind of a shallower plug. A little deeper than I thought, but hit pretty strong. That's why right there, yeah. That's why it hit pretty strong. I think it's a, uh, I don't know what it is, but it's been hit by a mower. We got a target about, it's about in the zinc penny range. I want to paint two targets down there. Two too close together. We'll try to dig this out and see. This it sounded like two of them. Okay, that, that was pretty good. It wasn't too deep, maybe four inches, five inches, but it's, it's a zinc penny, so it was fairly accurate on that one. I'm gonna see if there's anything right beside it. That's pretty good. I mean, I right beside, I just dug the, oh, you can't see it. Let me turn the camera. I just dug the zinc right there, and then they've watched me move this over a little bit, and right, Just within a couple inches over, there was another target. I kind of thought there was the way it was acting, so we'll dig this one out too. It's real close to that zinc. Let's see what else, see what we had right beside the zinc penny. Hit it a little bit deeper. It's in that clump. It's another zinc penny. There may be one more thing in the area too, maybe a low conductor. Let's see. Yeah, there's a low conductor too, like I was thinking. A little bit over to the left. Um, here. That's hitting. That's hitting in the nickel zone. Looks like we even got one more zinc and then possibly a nickel. Staying right in the nickel zone. Let's see what we got here. Okay, it's at least a couple inches deep, so. Well. 
wasn't a nickel, but that's these things hit right about where nickels hit, so it was it was fairly accurate. A 58 would jump into a 58 every once in a while, but yeah, even on the other detectors, these will still hit right in the nickel zone. I already dug three targets out of this one little circle, and listen as I'm sweeping my coil. There's all kinds of stuff still around it. See, these places are just loaded with junk. But it did manage to pick them uh, zinc pennies out of all that garbage. Now look at this one. Notice the numbers, 89, 93, 85, 90. But also notice the iron is flashing. My guess is this would be a, uh, a twist cap or a steel bottle cap. Even though it hits in the quarter zone, but <clears throat> what, uh, you can't probably see this, but as I lift my coil and swing, see how the numbers drop down into the 60s? Same thing, I'll do it again. See the 50s, the 30s, the, I, a coin would stay steady. So, in all reality, I probably wouldn't even dig this, but I will. Just to show you guys, I'm thinking it's a steel bottle cap. All right. I'm not going to dig a very big plug, I mean, very big or deep. It's hard not to dig a six inch plug with this thing though. There you go, that's exactly what it was. It was a steel bottle cap. So that iron feature is pretty cool. I said it's flashing the iron and numbers were jumping around. So like I said, I was almost positive that's what that was, but I got a target here that's hitting a little lower than what I think a nickel would. There's two targets right next to each other. Here's the other one. shallow one coming in lower than a nickel. A little lower could be hmm, aluminum, cans off, something like that. That. Yeah. Yep, that's what it was. Just a piece of a, I think it's a can. Yeah, it looks like a piece of a Budweiser can. Okay, I've switched coils. I put on the 10 inch elliptical. It's not the DD, so we'll use it for a little bit and see what we can come up with, too. We've got a signal here, probably in the zinc range. Doesn't appear to be all that deep. It's shallow. I should be able to get it with this. Yeah, it was a zinc penny. Got a signal here that might be in the copper penny or dime range. Looks like another shallow one. Probably shallow again. Wow, it's awesome. Oh, there it is right there. Well, maybe not. Nope. Seems seems like it's crawling away on me.
There's some real tough roots here. It's gonna be right here. Didn't want to dig a plug for a shallow coin here. A dime. I've got one here that's trying to hit in the nickel range. Nine sixty is more in a pull tab range, though. I'll dig this one out. You never know in these trashy areas. It's hard to tell sometimes. But it settled more in the pull tab zone than the nickel zone, a little high. Deeper anyway, deeper than thought. Probably going on the seven inch mark anyway. I had a pretty stable ID for as deep as it was. There it is right there. I can see it peeking through the dirt. That's a pull tab. I kind of figured it was hitting at 5960. Here's one trying to hit somewhere around the zinc range, but I think there's trash nearby it. It's wanting to hit in the zinc range, but its roots are tough. A little deeper again. I see a pull tab already. Square tab. Seventy-nine eighty. Might be the screw cap zone. Let's see what we got. Hit a little high for a zinc and a little low for a copper. Man, think, you know, no trouble going. Those fairly deep for the for the price. I don't know what that is. Some funky looking. It's probably what it was. Huh? I mean, that's probably what it was it was hitting. This one shows a little deeper. This one jumped around a little bit. No telling. There it is, I can see this coin. Probably, I don't know if you can see it or not, but... It's a quarter. Yeah, it was only maybe four inches deep. This is locked in about where a quarter would be. I'm sure it's going to be shallow. I'm thinking shallow coin here. I'll be able to get it with this. Yeah, fresh drop. Quarter. Just a hair lower than the copper penny range. And there it was, it was a dime. 
fell out of the plug when I flipped it over. There's a target in the dime range. Might be a little deeper. Saying seven. I kind of doubt that, but we'll it said dime at seven inches. Well, it didn't say dime, but it was in the dime area. Could be a copper penny too, though. Could be anything. Could be a ring. There it is, right there. Look at that. Can you see? Uh, hopefully, you can see that. There's a, right when I pulled this plug up. Man, you know what? It was surprisingly accurate. It was. I don't know where the dime was sitting. It looks like it may have been right there. So this blade is eight inches. It was pretty close. It was a dime at about seven inches. Not bad. Didn't actually think it would, you know, would be that. Got a signal here trying to stay in the nickel zone. This probably wasn't real deep, I wouldn't think. Yes, probably just under the surface. I guess it was right. It was a nickel, kind of just under the surface. 57. Here's one in the low 70s. That's a little bit lower than the zinc. Maybe, who knows, it could be big pull tab zone or something. There's center. Right on the zone between uh, VCO and high tone. Like in the real corroded zinc area or the maybe a big square tab. Or just trash. All right, let's see what we got on this one. Well, it comes in right on the zone between the two. Looks like a looks like a screw cap that may have been smashed. Here's a signal that's trying to stay in the 70s. Let's Man, I don't know how zinc pennies get down that deep and they still got their shiny color. That was probably four or five inch deep zinc penny. And you can still see kind of the color on it. Here's a signal. I don't know if it's deeper or just a junkier type target. see any iron flashing in there so we'll dig it out and see what we got don't know on this one real iffy A little bit deeper, that may have something to do with it. It's in a six, seven inch range. I mean, it's still in the hole too, so. It's down there a little deeper. I see some glass. Still down there. Hmm. It's at about the seven inch range. Still digging. I just hit something. That's probably it. Yep. 
What is that? It's a beam, I guess a gym beam cap with the glass still attached. That's yeah, pretty good depth, probably seven inches at least. I got a shallow zinc signal. Probably right on the surface. Thought it would have been anyway. Sounded loud enough. You can see that? Yeah. Still in the hole. I may have knocked it down there a little bit. Or could be something like a screw cap or oh, there it is. It's a little bit deeper than I thought, but it's still just a zinc penny. Got another signal here. I believe I believe it's real shallow. You know, I didn't usually these concentric coils don't false on bottle caps, but watch the ID and watch, <clears throat> watch the iron. Flashing a good repeatable ID, but also the iron up in here is flashing too. The ID is jumping around quite a bit. We'll see what this is. Okay, we'll see what this thing is. It's iron tone and a good tone. Got two things. Got one thing in the hole and one thing in the plug. Knocked it out. What is it? It's a tiny, tiny something. That looks like a staple. I mean, uh, it is. This is, this is a staple. Not if you can see it. Now I'm getting a uh, high tone in the hole. There's one of those big round discs with a nail going through it. I bet that was causing it. Even though it was hitting like a coin, the iron was still flashing on the screen, so I guess that's kind of a giveaway. But you really don't know because what if it was a nail and a dime? So, you know. Or a dime or a copper, pen, copper penny signal. Staying locked on pretty good. I would imagine it's too deep. Okay, let me get through the roots. Some tough roots. Popper penny. I got here what looks like a quarter signal. 
Let me center it. I'm sure it's real shallow. But notice there's no iron icon up there. And when I, I'm going to swing and lift the coil, and notice the numbers will kind of stay steady. Even if, as I get out of range. Actually, I got two. There's a zinc penny right beside it. But. Even up to when I lost it, it was still in the 80s. See that? Huh? Now, bottle caps will usually fade out and hit, you know, way down lower. So, I'm almost positive this will be a shallow quarter. And right to the left of it, there's a zinc penny. Or what looks like a zinc penny. It's a real good chance this is a shallow quarter. Yep, there it is. I think there's a zinc penny right beside it. I didn't even mess with that probably, but there's the quarter. Locked in at a 90. I've got one here, it's a little bit deeper. Um, it's in the nickel zone. I don't expect the ID to be real accurate on deeper nickels, but I'm not even saying this is nickel. Just saying on deeper targets like that, I don't think it's going to be real accurate. We'll dig it out anyway. Yeah. It's a piece of a lid, like a, one of those fruit drinks or something.